link budget and bitrate analysis example for geosatellite communication. Orbiting 37,000 km above the Earth's surface, a Geosat's 3 GHz transmitter downlink power is 200 Watt in this example, which means 23 dB Watt transmit power. The transmitter antenna gain is assumed to be 20 dB. The receiving Earth station has a 4 meter parab parabolic antenna with efficiency factor 0.5 and effective noise temperature 250 Kelvin. What is the transmitter equivalent isotropically radiated power or EIRP? Uh, figure out the received power and figure out the max bit rate that is that this satellite comm system can achieve if required EBNO or EB over N naught is 12 dB. Okay, so uh, for the EIRP part A, we know that EIRP of transmitter is just um, transmit power in dB plus dB watt plus GT, which is the transmitter gain in dB. So what we have is uh, 23 dB watt transmit power, that's for PT. And for GT, it's given to us, the antenna, the transmitting antenna gain is 20 dB. So the transmitter EIRP is just 43 dBi. Okay, so part B, figure out the received power. Um, the received power in dB is just uh, the transmit power in dB plus in dB watt. Uh, plus the gain of transmitter, plus the gain of receive antenna, minus free space path loss in dB. Basically, we are saying the, trans the received power is just a matter of uh, how much was the transmit power uh, linear times uh, the gain of transmitter antenna times the Gain of receiver antenna minus the free space path loss in dB uh, because of attenuation of signal as it traverses through space to, receive, to reach the receiver antenna. In this case, we just need to compute uh, F. Uh, we already have PT in dB watt. We already have GT. We don't have uh, GR yet, and we don't have free space path loss. So let's compute them for free space path loss. Uh, we have 20 log. 10 uh, 4 pi d over lambda and in this case uh, for lambda what we have is lambda is c over f c is a speed of light meter per second and f is the frequency of the transmitter which is 3 gigahertz so it's 3 times 10 to the 9 so lambda is just 0 0.1 meter so our free, scale, free space path loss is 20 log 10, 4 pi, d is the distance at 37,000 kilometer. So um, it will be 37, uh, 10 to the 6, divide by the lambda, which is 10 to the minus 1 as we compute it. This translates to 193.5. 35 dB free space path loss. Okay, so we have that. Now we need to compute the uh, gain of receiver antenna uh, for parabolic antenna that is given to us, 4 meter parabolic antenna on the ground. For that, uh, there is a formula to compute the gain of receiver, which is uh, um, in linear scale is just efficiency times pi uh, d, which is the 4 meter diameter, uh, divide by lambda squared, which if we compute uh, in dB format, it's going to be um, 10 log 10 
0.5 that's the efficiency given to us and uh, times 4 pi divided by 0.1 to the power 2 4 is because of the d 4 meter uh, is given to us pi and then lambda is 0.1 meter squared and if you uh, compute this you end up with gain of receiver antenna parabolic antenna of diameter 4 meter in this example is about 39 dB all right so with these information we are ready to compute the received power on the ground uh, it is just uh, 23 dB watt transmit power plus the gain of transmitter 20 dB plus uh, the gain of receiver 39 dB minus free space path loss 193.35 dB uh, so the power of the receiver is roughly minus 135 uh, dB watt which uh, translates to uh, in linear domain translates to roughly 7.33 uh, picowatt or 10 to the minus 12 okay so with that information we can now proceed with uh, C which is asking for maximum data rate or bit rate that this system can achieve well in that case uh, the max uh, bit rate is of course function of the required EBNO or EB over N naught or a minimum energy of bit uh, minimum SNR of, of a bit or bit over bit over noise that is given to be 12 dB so in that case maximum bit rate is just simply um, the received power uh, versus noise power to re so uh, the received SNR basically in linear domain uh, over energy or uh, uh, power of a uh, bit and over n naught ebno that is minimum needed and in this case it is 7.33 10 to the minus 12 divide by n naught n naught is just uh, kt which k is Boltzmann constant and t's temperature is just uh, 1.38 uh, times 10 to the minus 23 that's for Boltzmann constant and the temperature effective temperature is 250 Kelvin for the receiver so um, with that we get to uh, uh, exactly this uh, which is uh, um, 1.38 10 to the minus 23 250 over Minimum EBNO required is 12 dB, which in linear domain translates to 10 to the 12 divided by 10. Uh, if you, uh, by the way, if you want to see what was what is the noise power level, so this is linear, and in dB, what terms? It means uh, we are talking about roughly minus 204.6 dB watt uh, for noise power. Uh, so from here, uh, you can see that that maximum bit rate becomes roughly uh, 134 megabit per second. So this system can achieve up to 134 megabit per second while satisfying the required EBNO of 12 dB, which is a function of what sort of uh, modulation and co code rate or mod um, is targeted for this system. Hope this helps.